So let's demonstrate how to move clips around and swap clip positions within a sequence. I've created this simple sequence here that I have two clips of Barbara and I've color coded their clips to pink to kind of match her shirt. And I've color coded the Rebecca clips blue to kind of match her shirt. Uh, that way we can kind of see the clips moving around a little bit easier. So first let's move some clips around and there's a simple way to do that. I can lasso these two uh, Barbara clips to move them around so I can just click and drag a box around them to highlight them and I can click and I can drag them and then a little contextual window pops up that shows you how much you're dragging them around uh, but it's not very accurate here I can move around you'll notice that when I get near the playhead the clips kind of magnetize to them right so if I want a little more fine control I could zoom in by hitting plus plus it'll zoom in to wherever the playhead is and then I can click and I can drag them around and it, again it still magnetizes to the playhead if that's what you want. I can move the playhead over here and then I can drag and, and put them to be very specific. If I didn't want them to magnetize to the playhead I can come up here to the snapping tool which you can hover over the tool and it will say S. That's the shortcut. So I'm going to click it and now I can move the clip around the playhead without it snapping to it if that's what you want. I'm going to hit S to turn it back on, and I'm going to hit the backslash key to kind of zoom my timeline back out. And I'll just go ahead and move these clips back together the way they were. Okay, so let's swap clips around. For instance, let's say I want this third clip, this uh, clip of Rebecca, and I want it to be placed here instead, and I want this clip of Barbara to move in its place. So if I click and drag over here, and I snap it to the front to where I want it to be. If I let go, notice what it does. It doesn't insert edit, and it overwrites the other clip, and that's not what we want. So I'm going to hit Command to Z to undo that. But if I click and I can select it, and if I do Command Option and I drag it over, and I'm going to snap it to that edit point to make sure where I want it to go, and let go, now the clips swap positions. The two clips don't have to be touching each other. You can swap clips all the way from the end of the timeline to the beginning, and it's the same process. I can select it. I can hold Command Option, and I can drag it all the way to the beginning of the timeline and release, and then it moves all the clips down, down the timeline. Okay, so let's talk about a couple more tools here. Uh, I want to put a gap in between these two clips. I want to put uh, some blank video here. So again, I could lasso the tools and move them over and create that gap but I'm going to show you a tool called the track select forward tool and the track select backward tool notice that the uh, shortcuts are A and shift A uh, we'll just deal with the track forward tool I'm going to hit A to select it you get the icon of these two right facing arrows I'm going to click on the clip that I want to start moving and it's going to select every clip in behind it right and then I can left click and I can drag and notice it drags every clip beyond. So I can go back to the selection tool. I can either click on the icon over here or I can hit the shortcut key which is V as in Victor. Okay, so I want to nudge this clip a little bit further and I'm gonna zoom in on it by hitting the plus a little bit. So we know that we can click and we can drag it around and we, uh, we can move it around the timeline. But if I want to move it just very precisely to just one frame, I can hold the command key and I can either hit left or right arrow and notice I can move the clip left or right by one frame. If I wanted to jump five frames at a time, I just have to add the shift key. So I hold command and shift and now the clip can move left or right by five frames.